Let's 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 look at uh, the, the the inflation number that came out today. What do you think, Ron? It does to the Fed, not just in the meeting that will be held next week, but moving into the spring. Well, what's interesting, and I wrote about this today, is that other central banks around the world are beginning to recognize that the fever is passing. So the Bank of Canada has indicated a pause. Brazil, the Czech Republic, Poland, a handful of other Indonesia, other central banks are dialing back or stopping their rate increases because they're recognizing that the inflation fever has cooled. And we're seeing that all the data, whether it was yesterday's GDP numbers or this morning's PCE that the Fed likes to watch, personal consumption expenditure deflator within the consumer spending and, and personal income data, actually eased rather markedly. Uh, and certainly at an annualized rate, we're seeing a, a big pronounced slowdown in inflation. So look, the Fed's still going to go a quarter at the end of the month. They still may do two more. Larry Summers, of all people, this morning came out and said the Fed should stop after this rate hike. He did. He did, after spending the last two years saying it was the 70s all over again. So even Larry, who has held fast that this was a wage price spiral issue, said the uncertain outlook should give the Fed pause. Uh, for this meeting? After or? this meeting. Wow. So, Doug, what, what is your reaction to what Ron just said, what Ron just said about Larry Summers, and what the effect uh, of a potential pause or some signaling that... Uh, we're getting closer to the end of the trail on on rising rate rising rates. Uh, what will that mean for equities? Uh, I think if they if they stop after one, it'll be a very good thing for equities. But it would also mean we've been very sanguine about inflation for probably the past six months, knowing that it was this too shall pass. Um, we are getting a little concerned that people are moving to becoming overly. Uh, unconcerned about inflation. We, we think there might be some wage stickiness um, out there, sort of certainly in the back half of the year. I think there's a decent chance of a recession. Um, I'd love for them to stop after, probably after two. I've, I'm sort of with Ron in terms of thinking that it's probably after two they're going to stop. Uh, it'd be very unlikely they get that there's a third. Um, but I also think Larry, you know, Larry Summers may be uh, right Theoretically, but I think practically, it's very <laughs> unlikely to stop. I just, listen, I just take him. I'm not more sure you're in that position. Well, is for someone like Larry to come out who clearly would still have the Fed's ear yeah. and say that maybe it's okay to pause feels like it gives them that wiggle room. That said, let me rattle off all the the reasons people want to say they shouldn't. Uh, commodity prices are up. Lumber prices are up. Oil prices are up. Uh, the five-year break-evens are up 10 basis points. Forget it. We should start hiking again. Yeah, but the five-year break-even is at 228, and it's down from 359, and the 10 years at 228 as well. You look at lumber prices are at 460. They were at 15 and 1600 respectively in their two pops. Copper's up a little bit, and that's all the China play, assuming China rebounds. And everybody's making a very strong assumption that revenge travel and revenge spending is going to be very big in China. We don't know. But if you look at the Atlanta Fed GDP now print for the first quarter, up 0.07%. Personal spending this morning down 0.2 percent. Yeah, we could there be in deceleration yeah, yeah. taking place right now, and residential real estates. What else would you say in response trash. to Doug's sort of idea that can we kind of hang on here and, and ride this out, so to speak? Well, I mean, the market's going to price in the Fed stopping, right? And so we're seeing that. We've seen it already in the bond market, where rates have come down considerably. The yield curve still inverted dramatically, and yeah, equity markets are are sniffing out what other central banks are doing too. The pause. And so if indeed, and I would agree with Doug, if, if the Fed pauses, you know, you, you get a, a more of a rip to the upside in equities. But is it a lasting one when the curve is this inverted or is the damage Hard done? Hard to know because then you have earnings revisions and downgrades right. that, that could affect equity sentiment. Doug, uh, you, you mentioned the word uh, uh, recession. Uh, if there is a recession, when? Uh, and if I had to guess, it might be a very spotty kind of, maybe not a deep one, but a very spotty kind of recession where some seg sectors of the economy will really feel it, like real estate, like housing. Other sectors of the economy may feel it less. I think that's, you're seeing it, uh, you're seeing the start of it in terms of housing. Um, and you're certainly, you know, I think real estate, commercial real estate is going to struggle going into the back half of the year. 